when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? So as y'all can tell, man, I'm starting to intro a little different. I'm not in the garage outside or in the kitchen. I'm actually in the bedroom because I got my little mamas right here. And I ain't trying to leave her by herself while I go in here and do an intro. And I don't want to take the time to throw her in her little swing because we are getting ready to leave. Ooh, that actually rhymed. That was bars right there. So, yeah. So, uh, I just got a call from the shop that's been working on my Viper. Um, new blow valve, everything's installed. Crank pulley all situated because they said it was wobbling. Got to keep checking to make sure, you feel me, with this active baby, my daughter ain't rolling off the bed. Baby, you ready to go? You pulling on your bag? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I was saying, man, uh, they pretty much got the Viper back assembled. They basically called me was like, yo, if you wanted this thing loud, you need to hear it. It's like the car idles better. Uh, the new blow-off valve that I installed on there sounds insane. Well, he said it sounds insane. I haven't heard it yet, but... From what he's telling me is it's loud as hell so uh that's what i was going for man you guys know me i love cars that just sound different man like my c6 doesn't sound like any of the c6s um i'm going for the same thing with the viper i want just unique sounds yeah, we're about to be going over there uh giving this thing a listen you guys are gonna be hearing it for the first time with me uh the viper already sounded good i think it has uh was it bellinger exhaust and headers don't quote me on that but Man, it has a lot of good parts after looking them up and checking the price. I'm like, whoever had this car previously definitely put like top of the line parts on there. And, you know, the thing has a good uh, exhaust note. I don't know if it really picks it up that well through camera, but usually I'm not a fan of how Vipers sound. Ah, baby, why you tripping? Let Dada get through the intro. Can I get through the intro, please? Thank you. Come again. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh. Forget the intro. Let's just go. It's gonna we go, first time hearing it with me. Let's load the baby up and get ready to head out. Daddy duties, daddy day. Me and the baby. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with you. Give me, give me that, give me that camera. I got them hands. Then I got them hands. <laughs> come on mama let's go come on you trying to get up you can't get up by yourself come on uh, is you ready mamas All right, so I'm just pulling up to the shop. I was gonna pull my little mamas out, but she's currently sleeping. One of the cool things I like about this car is it has like all these nature modes and stuff like that that you can play. So I'm only gonna be here for like five minutes. I'm gonna leave the car running, AC on for her. So she'll be fine on the wake her up. But yeah, let's go check out this Viper. All right, here it is. What's good, what's good, my mans? So yeah, we have made a few changes to this thing. Now it's gonna sound more like a Mike Mike car. So it ended up being a combination of crank pulley, all that. Yeah, all that, all that's perfect. Everything's cherry now. We got AC now too? Yep, icicles blowing off your face. That's what I'm talking about. Kind of AC. Mm. Uh, but you really need to have a seat in this little baby. I barely fit. That's why I ain't drove it. <laughs> well, I was going to say, uh, Brandon was saying something about seat brackets. You're going to get seat brackets or something? Yeah, the seat lowering kit for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, bring that by. We'll shoehorn that baby right in here, too. But you got to... Hear the gotta, new sound? It's, it's totally... Well, you be, you be the judge. Oh, God. Oh, key. Oh, there's no key in it? Nope. Okay. Hear how this thing sounds, baby. Can't wait. 
thing about the person be like, oh, <laughs> I mean, I hope that's how it sounds. I'm about to hear it. First, start up with the new little components that we threw on here. AC working everything. Oh, look. Ooh, ooh. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta have my phone. I gotta see the smile on your face when you whack the throttle on this thing. <laughs> Is that loud? It's ridiculous. I'll wait for you. I'll start okay. up. You ready? It almost sounds turboed. <laughs> <laughs> Once it warms up too, it's crazy. Let me go over here so y'all can hear this thing. from the back. Almost sounds like it has cams in it, right? That's it's getting louder now. Barely, yeah. You know you like this one better. <laughs> it's way better. There's no way this is the stock camshaft on here. This is a push rod setup. Yeah. But it it's too low for it for the to be a stock ham, I think. Even with the supercharger, it would still sound smooth if it was a stock yeah. ham. Yeah. This thing is choppy. Yeah, it sounds good though. It sounds really good. This sounds so good. <laughs> Again, like I was saying, there's no way this is the stock camshaft. Ain't no way, bro. There's no way. It can't be. But yeah, it's all done here. I'm just waiting on the seat lowering kit. That way I can get the seat lower and then my big ass can fit in here and drive it. Uh, other than that, I don't think I'm really waiting for anything else this is pretty much it so i'm gonna be taking this thing home probably tomorrow for sure i think tomorrow's gonna be the goal man thank you it sounds so good dude thank you thank you first i was worried about having to find a viper tech but uh, man, i was like man i'm gonna have to send this thing down the soul cow but Crazy, I still ain't even drove it. I can't wait to drive this thing for the first time. Right? So it's gonna be spicier than than before. Oh, that's my old man. Oh, he's trying to get through? Oh. Can you make it through? This thing sounds good, one you. I know I can tell he got his he got his burners on already. He didn't kill his other tires. Oh yeah, like a fool. Man, this thing sounds hella good now. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, I love it. 
that was one thing that was annoying me. I was like, man, it's, it's, that, the old setup was too quiet. It was way too quiet. As yeah. soon as I heard this, I was like, oh, okay, there it is. Yeah, this is similar to my uh, my C6 setup. Yeah, yeah. It sneezes loud. No, that's cool. Uh, I'm I'm interested to see if it helps out with with drivability or power or anything. That filter on the front, that thing's gonna go. Yeah, I was I was, I was looking at that it. thing. I was gonna clean it and everything and re-oil it, but with a bigger, nicer. Yeah, it's, it's, I was thinking it'll, of it'll a bigger K&N. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking of getting a bigger K and N anyway. Yeah. Something that just goes all the way across yeah. it. Yeah. Let it breathe. Alright man, just getting back in the car, getting ready to head out. So let me know what y'all think, man. How y'all how y'all feeling about that that new new newness right there? Woof. That thing sounds so crispy. Bye Viper. Look at this. It's a clean ass old school Chevelle. But anywho, man, I'm about to be uh, on my way to go see Granny at her physical therapy facility. She's uh, finally at the hospital, so that's where me and Kai are about to be heading to right now. So, uh, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This was a shorty, but you know, I want to uh, take y'all with me to hear the first, the first startup with the new little setup on there. That way, we we did it together. But anywho, man, appreciate y'all greatly. Y'all already know. Thank y'all for rocking with me, and I'll touch back with y'all in the next couple of days or so. Thank <laughs> you.